Shalom, my brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is March 24th, 2023. And the Lord gave me a dream in the early morning hours of March 17th, 2023. And before I bring forth this dream, I would like to pray for each and every one of you so that ye may receive what God has for you in, the, in my dream to you all. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious King, to thank you for this dream, this lovely, beautiful, and glorious dream. I thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for you are my King of kings and the Lord of lords. And you love me and you love all your children who are ready, waiting, and watching for you. Who will be the heirs of the kingdom of God. Or we are called the joint heirs of the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. The dream was called, is called the inheritance dream. This is found in Matthew 25, 21. Let us go to Matthew 25, 21. His Lord said unto him, Well then, thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was dreaming. I inherited a lot of things, and God was showing me I have inherited everything that our Father received, that our Father received from God, the Father, Yeshua, our King, Father, Son of God, our best friend, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I inherited, He inherited the whole world and heaven, heaven and earth and the whole universe so we as children of God has received all this that Jesus has we are blessed and will always be blessed forever I was brought before God our Father and he was handing me a list of my inheritance hallelujah yes amen it was beautiful and some people were saying how is she getting this inheritance? She was not born to this royal family. But God the Father said she is brought into the family through my son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit. She is covered by the blood of my son, and she is mine and all silence fell quickly then i woke up blessed brothers and sisters we are going to be getting an inheritance so big that we can't even imagine we cannot imagine how glorious and how huge our inheritance is remember the story of the prodigal son he wanted all his inheritance right away and so the father gave it to him and he went and departed from his father and he went to the evil and wicked world and he spent all his inheritance all of it but when he had nothing no one wanted to be with him no one cared to be with him 
So he went and did labor by feeding the swine their food. And he too ate the swine's food. Then one time he woke up and he said, I'm going back to my father and ask for forgiveness because the laborers eat better than this, live better than this. So he went back and far away his father saw him and the father ran to him and he ran to the father. You know the story. He was given a ring and a pure and glorious robe with sandals upon his feet and a feast to remember. And that's the way it is for us when we come back to the Father and ask for forgiveness. Hallelujah. That dream was so beautiful and so vivid. I thought I was there in receiving my inheritance. One day I shall receive my inheritance. Shalom, and so shall you all be blessed. And here is why we are going to be joint heirs of heaven. Here is the parable that Jesus read or told to his disciples, found in Luke 15, verse 11. And Jesus said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, Give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all that arose a, part, a mighty famine in that land and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have, and he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself he said how many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him father I have sinned against heaven and before thee and am no more worthy to be called thy son make me as one of thy hired servants and he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his son, I mean to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, which are sandals. And bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to be merry. Now his elder brother, or his uh, elder son, was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto them, him, Thy brother is come, 
and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandments, and yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which thou devoured the living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was met that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. The Lord wants us to be just like this parable. Rejoice and be glad that one sinner goes back to him. Because in heaven they're all rejoicing when one goes back to him. Our inheritance is waiting for us, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. All that is Jesus's is ours. Shalom, be blessed. And this word is God's word. Amen, amen, amen. God bless.